I think the fundament of light is the atmosphere. And we design atmospheres, we design spatial experiences. And they have to be interesting in daylight, but they really also have to be interesting in artificial light. You can focus with the artificial light. So for us, the artificial light is, is another layer of scenography. Suddenly we are in control. The other light that we are designing with, the natural light, the most amazing light, the one that is feeding our plants and so on, is out of our control. Outdoor light is often a little bit more subtle. It has to work together with an environment that's designed by a landscape architect. So we have to become part of the skin of that environment. We cannot just come in and steal all the attention with something that's very eccentric or very expressive. And it'll allow attention to other parts than just the fixture in itself. We believe that there's a link between the quality of light and the quality of life. We seek the balance between the design and light and try to treasure and challenge them equally. I think that the way that we differentiate in the Nordic countries in our design approach is mainly that we are very strict to the principle of form follows function. Christian is an industrial designer who has many capabilities and, and talents within design in general. So he's one of the designers who's not just giving form and, and being very strong conceptually, but he's equally interested in designing the light concept. I love to, to do final prototypes. I think I started up having small uh, sticks or cylinders or uh, cardboard tubes and I make these cuts to find out how, uh, how does it work different, how much can I get out of something so, yeah, so simple. Even though you get very close, you always get surprised when you put the real light components into the product. So then you have to go back and forth again to fine-tune that relationship between light and shapes. The whole concept of the Flint family is a very simple take on having a stick and then carving out a shape. That shape becomes the design, that shape becomes the product, and that shape becomes the reflector and the light technique. So for us, this is all the essence of design to shape light. I think that nature is the key to everything. I think that nature is the most amazing thing that was ever invented. And I actually think nature is almost everything that is invented. Nature for us at SLA is where we find the meaning and the answers. And the processes in nature is what inspires us. We try to create spaces where people want to go. Sun is a campus and it's a place in the middle of the city that was kind of dividing things. The big inspiration is at the question you have to ask yourself in the beginning. What is the generosity you can bring back? So when you go there and you see this bridge that is a journey in itself, it's also a connection. It's also a way to kind of sting this, the city together and it's really rare to see campuses that are completely open, like this one. So it's quite unique that this is a campus, but it's also a location in the city. It's a park. Everybody can go there. Light is important because if there was no light, all the trees would die and then you couldn't breathe. So that's kind of uh, the fundament for light. Light brings the, the living material to the planet. We are often discussing here in SLA if, if light itself is a material. Sometimes you can even consider that, but of course light is bringing a focus to a material. If it's not pointing at anything, what is it then? The whole idea of creating a scenic lighting where you have direct lights that will be able to scenic light a square in a different way is something that Lord Paulson hasn't been able to offer. And we sort of felt that there was a need for a product 
that had some sculptural beauty. Also when it's off in the daytime, so it's not this sort of industrial looking object in an urban environment. We are often asked in SLA about uh, smart cities. I mean, nothing is smarter than the nature, the city nature, the trees. The trees represent life itself. You cannot invent anything smarter than that. But you could definitely improve the quality of the lighting and make it so it becomes more clever. So it adapts to the climatic situation. Light has endless opportunities to enhance and improve urban life.